guys and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how you can incorporate your CSS loader onto a button either when you're logging in or you're signing up or maybe a page loads or whatever you want to do for those of you that build web application if this is your first time coming to my channel you can click the subscribe button and hit, hit the bell notification button just because I put up another video so today we're going to continue from the previous part where we stopped so if you watched the previous video I talked about how you can create your CSS loader just like this so today I'm going to show you how we can incorporate this loader into a button okay now for the sake of this tutorial I already have a template for a login authentication that we're going to be using so I'm just going to show you that on that web, web design folder I created on my document earlier so in the CSS tutorial I already have a demo template so in one of the pages I already designed an example of a login page now this is it okay so I'm gonna show you how you're gonna integrate this into this sign in button so when you click on sign in or whatever you click on it will it will take you to in other words it will start loading on the on the button okay so that's what we're gonna learn we're gonna learn today so now let's get started okay so what we're gonna do right now is that I'm gonna reorganize this uh, file into a separate CSS file so what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna go into this folder and um, back to the CSS tutorial I'm gonna copy oops sorry I'm gonna copy this CSS property, all right? This CSS property into a separate CSS file, so we can just load it up in from this, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna integrate all the styles into one CSS file, then I'm gonna link it up to this other page so we can work in it from here, okay? So that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna open up my terminal. Then now uh, I'm already in the folder where the template is. I'm gonna do the edit login dot html. Okay. Now this is the complete um, HTML file of this particular web page. So let's gonna do some modification on this page while we work on that. So already we have a uh, different kind of CSS in here. So I'm just gonna link up, create a new CSS file for it. Let's say link Ariel style shape href equals okay now I'm gonna say um oops okay there's a folder ready CSS R CSS so I'm gonna call this a uh, loader dot CSS okay that's what I'm gonna call it Yeah, I'm gonna call it loader.css. So I'm gonna save it. So when I save this file, now what I'm gonna do next is go into that folder and create the file called loader.css. I'm just gonna go back to my desktop and cd into documents uh, web design. Oops, design. Okay. Slash CSS tutorial. Okay, now I'm gonna cd into uh, demo template. Okay, so that's where we are. So I'm gonna cd also into the distribution folder, cd into CSS folder. So we have all this in here. So I'm gonna do gedit again. I'm gonna create our loader.css. Okay, and this is our loader.css file. Here it is. So since it's a CSS file, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to copy. Sorry, I'm just going to copy all these designs we did here from here, and I'm going to paste it on this one. Okay. All right. So these are CSS. So this is what we did exactly on a design. Okay. So it's not going to show much more. So I can reduce the size maybe to 15 pixels because. We're working on a very large, um, smaller button right now. So 
So I'm going to save that. Okay. So when you open up our browser, of course, nothing's going to happen yet. Nothing's going to happen yet. Okay. So um, now we can do away with this one. It's no longer useful. So if I save this file and reload the page, view the page source, you see here yeah, I'll load the CSS is connected. When I click on it, you see all the files that we have from our browser. Okay. So let's go into now, see if we can just modify this web page, this um, login page a little bit. So I think I'm just going to remove this and this and just keep it simple, right? So that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to jump into here and open up the login. Then I'm going to call this uh, loader button. Okay, let me just switch it out to this side so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to change this. Uh, let me just call it loader CSS. Okay. Um, I'd like to take out this Facebook and uh, Google signing. So I'm just going to come here. Here it is. And, um, okay. This is signing using Google. Okay. I'm just going to click from here. So show me the authentication. Just remove. Click save. Alright, and it's out. Good. So what I'm going to do now, I just want to manipulate this one, this button. So when we click on it, it's going to, you know, put in the button. So first of all, we're going to test with our JavaScript or jQuery. I'm going to use in jQuery on that, okay? So first of all, let me just test if we already have that button set. So I'll do that by uh, giving the button an ID or a class but this time around since we're working with just a single button it's better we work with an ID so uh, this is the button we have I'm going to change the type to button okay and uh, I'm going to give it an ID I'm going to call it uh, sign in okay and here sign in button all right so I save the page and click on reload nothing changed but when I click on it okay it doesn't do anything all right so I'm gonna go down and I'll write some small JavaScript and jQuery code so I'm gonna address it selector sign in all right let me say uh, that click let's see what happens so this is uh, we call it an arrow arrow function for those of you who understand TypeScript an error function so I'm gonna alert something when I click I'll say you click Oops. click me alright so I'm gonna save that and reload the page and click on it so okay now we have our alert you say you click me so in other words our code our JavaScript everything is working so we're now ready to put in that functionality in our code alright so this practice is a very simple one. So now we already confirmed that our code is working, the button is clicking, everything is responding very well. So what I'm going to do now is that I want to make sure that whenever I click on this button, all right, before it sends whatever information, the login or the email to the server, while it's still loading, it will give us the button, uh, the, the loader is going to show here just to tell the user to just hang on for a sec okay I'm trying to process your authentication something like that all right so I'm just gonna take this one off okay and take it out I'll say oops I'm gonna call this and I'll say a dollar sign dollar sign is where you can check your jQuery selector all right so if I say sign in dot dot click what's gonna happen I'm gonna say let change the HTML so all these, don't worry about all these stuff, okay? These are jQuery functions, jQuery uh, prepared functions, okay? I'm gonna be showing you that some, some other times, my other videos I'm gonna create on jQuery. So I'm gonna create a, let's say, let's add a label to it, okay? A label, so I'm gonna create that. Then also I can add a class. So first of all, what HTML does is this, it replaces the the name or whatever uh, element is inside the particular button or selector you're selecting so let's say for example if I say when you click on the button let it show to done okay so 
when I save this and reload, when I click on it, it changes to done. You see that? When I reload again, click on it, changes to done. So the same way you can change to anything. But this time around, I want to put, I want to incorporate a CSS class on it. Okay. So on the click, you should add a label. HTML label. All right. So. And the label doesn't have anything so when I save and click on it definitely nothing's going to show because there's no content in the label so also I'm going to continue and also say this oops oh come on all right the same way also it's a long process actually but I'm just going to show you uh, there's a shorthand property for it but I'm just going to show you the method or the way you're going to do that so I'm going to select the signing that label all right that add class now jQuery had a function called add class. So the add cl class I'm gonna add now is loader. Okay. So there's a there's a class called loader already. All right. So on our CSS loader the CSS. So I'm not gonna change this now to this is a selector for classes, not the hash hash sign or the hashtag. So because we're dealing now with a a, a class. I'm going to change this one now to a loader so I'm going to go back to the CSS file and I change it to a loader and this is a class and the class is represented with a dot okay why well, if you're using a hash you're talking about uh, an ID but this time around I want to make it a class so that when we call in it it's going to function appropriately so let's go back to that and click on loader so when I click on this button what it's going to do is that it's going to first of all create a label tag inside the button and also add the class inside the label so let's give that and see how it works okay so when I click on it you see now it's rotating you see how it's rotating now I know you were wondering why is it like that isn't what we designed yes simply because uh, you know the size of our um, loader then was we did uh, two pixels so I think what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna change the the width of the border to let's say one pixel let's see if we can make it smaller and uh, let me just reload it and uh, click on it. Yeah, it's getting smaller now. Okay, it's quite small. So let me increase this to the width to 20 pixels. Okay. All right, this is 20 pixels. So reload. Click on it. Ah, uh, it's quite bigger than the button. I think 15 is okay. So let's take back to 15. 15 is fair enough. Okay. Then um, let's say. Let's try two pixels on that bottle width. Okay, and if I click on it. Okay, yeah, it's quite fair enough. Oh, now here you can do whatever thing you want to do with it. You can change the the, the style of your butter either to green or white or whatever. So if you turn it to white, of course this is how it's gonna look like. Okay, so you can still keep on styling your you see it's looking white, so it's rotating. So now let's go back there. So that's just all about incorporating your button so whatever code you're writing for those of you writing the back-end code uh, like for me this is um, a program that I'm working on already and this is just a template so I just say let me use this to show you how you can incorporate this button so it's quite simple so for those of you that is using maybe Ajax or Angular or whatever you're calling a request from the server on your uh, property or maybe before send you can just add this few lines of code in there. So whatever class you style in your, or maybe if you're using a Bootstrap for it's called loader or whatever, you, just anything you want to do, you can just call it to see how simple it is. So let's do a summary. First of all, I already have my page designed, all right. And secondly, I added the CSS file, I linked it from the folder loader, all right. It's a folder called loader, okay. So that's the CSS file loader. The CSS so. And we came back down here in our JavaScript file. First of all, we click the selector and we change the button to an ID sign in and uh, sign in dot click. You carry out this particular function, which is you add first of all, create a label on it, a label tag inside, and the sign in label add class. Okay, now let me show you something. You know, when you open up your um, developer option, so you just go to developer option in your browser. I think I'm just going to make this one a little bit larger so you can see that now. Okay, I'm going to close this. Okay, developer option. You click on this inspect. Okay, so you can see the. Let's inspect this one. By default here, you notice that uh, there's there's nothing inside inside the button. 
okay but see what happens when I click on it when I click on this automatically you see a, a tag has been added inside which is the, the Lego button and you can see the loaded class has been added let me do that again for you to see let me just reload the page and you see that okay now this is our button tag it wasn't anything inside before so if I click on it watch poof you see that there's something inside now it adds a, the label um, element and adds a class loader and you can see our loader here is just that square we did before and you can see it's loading so that's all thank you for watching this video I hope this helped you carrying out your projects if just in case you're new now in my channel you can just click, just click the subscribe button and also the bell notification button just in case I put up another video so thank you for watching for now take care I'm aching and jaw aching with these darling empty hearts.